And a very good morning to you. It is Tuesday morning, the 15th of June, 2021. And this is your friend Angus Buchan with a thought for the day. If we go to the Word of God, to the Gospel of John, chapter 15, and just one verse, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, than a man lay down his life for his friend. Have you ever tried to measure the enormity of the love that Jesus has for you and me? It is amazing. There's a beautiful hymn that I've heard yesterday. It was written by a man by the name of Frederick Lehman, and he lived a couple of hundred years ago. And I just want to read this one verse to you and try and imagine how great the love of God is for his people, for you and I. This is what he wrote. Could we with ink the ocean fill, and were the skies of parchment made, were every stalk on earth a quill, and every one a scribe by trade, to write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. <laughs> cannot be compared. What amazing love. Now, for the younger people that don't understand some of those older terms, he says, if the whole ocean was filled with ink and the skies were of one big sheet of paper and every stalk in the field, every stalk of grass was made into a pen and every person on earth was a scribe, a writer, by trade, they would not be able to write the love of God because it would drain the whole ocean and that scroll, that parchment could not contain the love of Christ because it would stretch literally from sky to sky. Oh, my dear friend, remember today, Jesus Christ loves you unconditionally. And he would ask you now to go out today and to love even the unlovely with the love of Christ, because that love is more powerful than any other force on earth. God bless you as you start by loving your husband, your wife, your children, your neighbors, your friends, the people you work with in the office, the people that you go to school with. Tell them about the love of Christ. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.